The first thing we need when creating our website is a folder to keep it all in. Now all our files will go in here and I've created a separate folder called images to keep our images in. For example, the picture I hope to use for the banner on the site. It's very important we use this folder to keep everything tidy so that when we move it onto the web it's all in one place. Now I'm going to use Dreamweaver CS3 to create this website and it will work in a very similar way in CS4. We need to tell Dreamweaver that we're making a new site so it knows where to find all the files. Now it will come up in basic mode, I prefer advanced. Now give it a name, for example I'm going to call mine my year 8 ePortfolio. And then you need to tell it where the actual folder is. So under the choose local root folder, mine was on the desktop, select the folder, and go choose. And now I'm going to tell it where the images folder that's inside the root folder. Now these other bits we don't need to worry about. We'd worry about those if we were um, planning to use Dreamweaver to put it onto the web, but this is just a demo, so we're not. Now over to the side here in this files panel, and if you can't see it, you go to window and files. You can see uh, the contents of our root folder, so the images and the picture. Now I'm going to close that because we don't need to see it for now. And I'm going to create a new HTML page. Now I like to start off by giving it a title. I think it's uh, a bit bad when uh, web pages launches and you can't tell what it is by looking at the top of the browser. So I'm going to call mine Year 8 ePortfolio. And up here, this is the insert menu, and you can see some nice, uh, interesting things like adding pictures and tables. Now, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the Layout tab and go to this Insert Div tag. Now, what this does is separate the page up. It divides the page. So I click that, and I'm going to give the first div I'm going to make an ID. I'm going to call it the header, and then I click New CSS Style. Now, you can see here under Selector, it's got a name, hash header. And then it says, define in, currently, a new style sheet. This creates a separate file for keeping all the information about how the page is laid out. Now I'm going to call mine styles.css. And the CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. And I hit save. I can now set up how I want this section, this division, this part of the page to look. So I'm going to go to the background first of all and I'm going to give it a colour. There we go, FFCC66, I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to go to the box and give it a width of 900 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, and then I'm going to set this padding uh, around the edge, just a little bit of space of 5 pixels, it's same for all. Now the margin, I don't want the same for all. I'm going to use right and set it to auto and left to auto. Now what that does is center that div on the page. Now if I click OK, it's created the style sheet you can see here and you can see it in the list of files um, and that's where it stores the information that we just put. And if I click OK you can now see the header across the top of the page and it's even put in some um, example text so you can see what it looks like. Let's have a look at the style sheet. There's the information about how it looks and if we look at the code for this page, you can see all we've got is just a tiny little tag called div with the content in between. Now, let's add our next part. Let's add the main page. So again, it's a new div tag. I want this after the heading tag. There we go. And I'm going to put, call it page. Hit new CSS style, calls it hash page. And you can see it's remembered that we've created uh, a separate sheet already. Now, um, that's a cool for the ink. If I go to background, I can set the background color. I'm going to go for black for my page. And uh, let's go to uh, box. And I'm going to set um, the dimensions for that section of the page. Again, a width of 900, so it matches our header. A height of 500. And let's put, again, padding of 5 all the way around and to center it we just want a margin to the right which is auto and a margin to the left which is auto and again if I click OK it will add that style to the style sheet and if I click OK here it will insert the, the div tag onto the page Now that white bit is just the example uh, content the content for ID 
uh, page goes here. Now, I don't need that, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm ready to make my next div tag, which will be my um, footer. Now, I want that to go after, not the header. I want it to go after the page. So let's put in the name footer. Again, click New CSS Style. Again, it will give it its name and save it to the style sheet that we've already created. And again, I can click my background and choose the color. I'm just going to use the eyedropper to make sure it's the same color as the header. And let's set the size of the box. So a width of 900, a height of 25, it's only a little small bit, but we could put things like our copyright notice if we wanted to. Padding will set, and once again, auto right and auto left to center it on the page. I click OK, creates the styles, click OK, it inserts the division onto our page. So let's just have a quick look here. We can see the actual style sheet and what the content is, our, our definitions for the head of the page and the footer, and there they are in the actual style sheet itself. Let's have a look at the code for the page, and you can see it's very simple, it's very minimal. It is just the divisions with the content in between um, the start and the end tag. So let's um, let's preview that in uh, our browser. Let's just use Safari, it doesn't matter which. Um, and we need to save it first. So I'm going to call mine my example and hit save. And now it wants to save the style sheets. So I say yes. And there is how the page looks when viewed in a browser. I'll just uh, shrink it down there so you can see. And you can see as I change the size of the browser, that auto margin on the left and right keeps the page in the middle. And we've got a nice looking uh, page. <laughs>